So why should you invest in an index fund? Well, one reason is Warren Buffett said it, but there's a few more. Stay tuned. All right, so what is an index fund? Well, an index fund basically is either gonna be a mutual fund or it can be an ETF, uh, an exchange traded fund. And if you have a 401k at work or something like that, you're gonna see all those funds that are listed when you actually put your money in, and it kind of diversifies them to all these different funds. Those are usually the index funds. Um, an index fund basically is gonna be controlled by a manager. And there's a whole bunch of different index funds, and like I'm going to go through a bunch today. But for the first, you know, little while, I'm going to show, I'm going to concentrate on S&P 500 funds. So an index fund that basically mimics the S&P 500. And the reason why this is kind of cool is because you don't have to actually then go out and buy a hundred different stocks. You let a manager go in and do it for you. They'll go ahead and look at the S&P 500, and they try to mimic that index by purchasing a whole bunch of different stocks. If that index changes, they're going to go ahead and purchase a whole bunch of other stocks to, you know, to try to make it look as close to the S&P 500 for you. So you can have all those stock diversifications, all those American stock diversification, and uh, not have to do any work really except just buy the one index fund. It does help with diversification of everything. That's one thing that's probably the biggest thing. Um, and you're gonna have a little bit better oversight for sure because you have a manager that's managing this, has to answer to a whole bunch of different people. And that, those people usually have a lot of money and they're usually asking a lot of questions. So uh, it's very competitive. So you, you know that these companies make a ton of money. So you definitely, uh, you know, if they, if they do a good job for people, so they definitely, are, you know, it's their incentive to do that for you. Uh, because people talk to other people and then all that money gets moved into their funds. You know, I, I guess more or less it's, it's just going to come down to if you don't like to invest in single stocks and stuff like that, um, an index fund is a great thing. But the reason that it's cool, the reason that actually, you know, there's so many different types of index funds is because it depends what you like. So for instance, I'm going to go through a bunch of S&P 500 funds today and I'm going to show you how close they are on how the history of what they've done. Um, the S&P 500 is a, you know, obviously that's the index. Everyone knows of that index that's a made up of a ton of different stocks, a big, big, big cap, you know, American stocks. Um, but that thing has never lost money over a 20 year period. It's always gone up. So, you know, if you look at the history of it, it's a very solid line that goes, you know, usually, you know, fairly consistent up. There's going to be times during depressions or recessions and things like that, maybe not a depression, but a recession, where you're going to see dips for sure and you're going to lose some money, but usually it comes back strong after that. It's been proven time and time again. So these, these funds, want to, they want to mimic that. So basically they'll create a fund or an index that basically mimics that. And I'm going to show you about five of them and just, just give you an example. I'm not recommending any of them, but I'm going to show you how close they are and the returns on them are so close. And it's because they're all kind of mimicking the same thing. They're a little bit different, but they're all very similar. There's going to be other index funds out there that are going to basically target other things. For instance, I'm going to go through three here, and basically one is going to be just on dividend. I mean, it's going to be primarily dividend growth. So it's going to be an index fund that, that has a number of different stocks that are actually looking for dividend growth. So you're going to get a higher dividend on that, and it's really looking at not so much the potential growth of the stock, but it's more dividends. How much is that dividend growing and how much dividend return do you get? Another one might be if you don't if you like low volatility, there's a low volatility uh, index fund, which I can show you. And so that basically means instead of making you know really big increases in your profits, you know you might have a little less, but then you're less apt to have big swings down. Uh, if you don't like the ups and downs, although I recommend never watching, <laughs> never watching this. These are long-term investments that you want to you know keep for a long, long time. So I recommend don't even watching them. But if you do, you like low volatility, I'll show you that one. There's another one in here that's basically going to be if you like international uh, diversification, uh, it's going to be an uh, index fund that basically focuses on international diversification. So that's there's three there as well. So I'm going to go through all of them. But the thing I wanted to show you first was the the ones that focus on the S&P 500. They're basically so similar, you're going to be like shocked at it. Um, and the reason it's kind of cool looking at it is because you know these managers are all kind of doing it themselves, but the results are very similar. So you can't really go wrong picking one over the other. Um, but it is competitive, so definitely do some research and talk to one of your you know investing professionals. All right, so let's get into this really quickly, and I'm going to show you four different stocks that are based on the S&P 500, or I'm sorry, these are index funds. And again, they can either be a you know a mutual fund or an ETF. And this one happens to be an ETF over here. This one's the symbols VU V O O. It's a Vanguard IX fund S&P 500 ETF. 
and it's basically again VU 272 uh, the uh, dividend yield is one one percent one point four five percent I'm sorry and so the thing I wanted to show you about all these those you can pick one of these four I'm going to show you and you're going to do very similar so it gives you confidence that these investors or these people managing this know what they're doing they're really mimic mimicking the S&P 500 so you basically can put your money into any of these and it's going to be very similar results um, go ahead and take a look at this for instance so this is obviously one day this is not going to tell you a lot but if you click on five days out just remember this I mean this is going to go back it doesn't really matter but for the purpose of this video it's going to go back to 2014 and this is 2019 but just in your Head. remember the trend here of this this graph and then when I max it out remember the trend of this graph and you notice there's dips here um, in 2018 at the end of 2018 when we had that dip but basically just look at this trend right so let's go to the next one here's another one this is another index fund that targets the S&P 500 it tries to mimic it this one's called SWPPX Schwab S&P 500 index fund $46 a share it's gonna have a 1.85 dividend, so that's kind of similar. This is just one day here. But let's go to five years. Take a look at that graph. That's almost a mirror image of the last one I showed you for five years. And let's go ahead and take a look at the max again. And it's very similar. This one's a little bit different, but basically it does go from 20 all the way up to about uh, 44 uh, since 2003. It's got a little bit higher dividend, so maybe uh, you know, obviously you're gonna get a little bit more uh, return from the dividend on this one. But basically it does, it's very similar. But that five year is very, very similar. It almost looks like it's a mirror image of the last one. Let's go look at another one that mimics the S&P 500. This one's the iShares S&P 500 index. It's IVV, it's 298.55 a share. And again, this has a 1.56 dividend, so it's very similar to the other ones. Let's go ahead and click on five years. Look at that. That's almost exactly the same. It's 200 here, up to about 300 over the course of this time from 2014 again, up to about 2019. But again, they're mimicking the same thing, so they look exactly the same. If you go ahead and click on this, you can see this one looks exactly like the last one I just showed you. Um, it's got the same dips and the same you know spots, and, and it really comes down to how long the, the graph is. Um, it's gonna you know be very, very similar. So I go into the last one here, which is this, another one that targets the S&P 500. And there's, there's literally tons of these. You can go out and choose the one that you think is best or the best investor. But this one's called the Spider S&P 500 ETF Trust. It's uh, SPY is the stock symbol. It's 290, uh, 296.82. Again, it carries a 1.83 yearly annual dividend. Again, let's go to five years, look at that. I mean, same dip everywhere, same everything. Let's go to the max. There you go, very similar. So you could have invested in any of these things and they're gonna come out with pretty similar results. They're doing the investing for you. You're hiring a manager, and you know it's kind of a low, slow burn over time. Your money does keep rising. You're going to have times where you might get a little scared, but I recommend not checking it and just let it go. Um, so then, there's other index funds that really target very specific things. That was the S&P 500. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. This one's going to be uh, it, it's a dividend appreciation index fund or an ETF. So it's basically going to be the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF. It's VIG is the stock symbol, VIG, 116.78. It's got a 1.76 dividend. Now this one's gonna be different. If you look at the five years, now granted it does look, it looks very similar, right? It does look similar. Um, and then the max, it's gonna you know, have something that happened back here. I think this is when the fund started, but basically it's gonna look a little bit different, but, but it's supposed to because it's gonna be concentrating more on dividends here, um, dividend investing stocks, and you're gonna try to get a little bit more return on that dividend than anything else. So let's go ahead and look at another index fund here or an ETF, or whatever, you know, basically we're using those interchangeably for this video. But this is the Invesco Exchange S&P 500 low volatility. So this one, again, this one targets the S&P 500, but it's a low volatility. So if you look at this, um, well, let me go ahead and give you the stock symbol. It's SPLV, but this is a low volatility stock. So what they basically do is they pick 100 different stocks out of the S&P 500 that have the lowest volatility, meaning that they have the least chance of going up and down in these big, big swings. Now granted, this is gonna look very similar to the other ones as well. This one's actually a little bit more defined. It obviously doesn't have as big of dips in it as the other ones did. It has a lot smaller dips and it basically does continue to go up though. Um, if you look at the max and you can see that there's not any really big dips in here. So this is a great one if you don't like that big back and forth um, of, of volatility. Um, you still get a 1.5% dividend. So this is a great pick as well. Again, that's the SPLV and that's um, 
uh, basically another one you can choose. So if you look at a, a, even another one, so this is the last one I'm gonna show you just to kind of show you, um, but basically this one's IDV, it's called the iShares um, International Select Dividend ETF. So basically this is gonna be, uh, if you want international diversification, this is gonna target more international shares than the United States shares. So it's gonna pick from a suite of different stocks that are international bound. And it should have a little bit different profile if you can see this. Um, this one again, I'm not recommending this, but basically you can see over, you know, since, what is this, 2014, it's actually gone down. It's got a completely different profile. If I look at the max of it though, it's pretty steady. Um, but again, it's not showing a huge return here. So this one, because of the international, is not doing too well right now, is having a little bit of problems. So uh, obviously this is one that you might put in with a little bit of money. So when international does well later, this will go skyrocketing and you're in, in if American does, you know, stocks don't do too well, that'll go down. So you have to diversify your portfolio that way. But I just wanted to show you, I mean, basically if you go into Google and you type in anything you want, but just like best index funds, you're gonna get tons of tons of different people recommending everything, you know, depending on what you like and what you need. So go ahead and check all this stuff out. That's all I wanted to show you today. And uh, hopefully you'll get something from this, but this is just basically, it's that easy. Um, uh, they do have fees though, one thing. They all have different types of fees. You wanna look at the fees for them. Some of them have uh, higher fees than others, but they're not usually too bad. They're usually X amount of dollars per year. It's nothing too crazy, but also check out fees on these, on these funds. Just really quickly, I don't recommend any of these. This is just to kind of help you with index funds. So definitely take these with a grain of salt and have fun. All right, so again, Warren Buffett did recommend the index funds. He said if he only had a, like X amount of money and he had one thing to invest in, he wouldn't try anything crazy. He would put it all into a couple index funds and let it ride for life. Um, these are long-term investments, mind you, though. You definitely have to stay in them. You don't want to keep looking at them. You, you know, there's going to be times where they go down, times when they go up, but it's over time that they're actually going to go up. And you can double, triple, quadruple, you know, even more your money over time. So, you know, if you keep adding money to it every month, over time it can grow to hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars depending on what you're putting in. And that's kind of the key of this is it's kind of a low, low again, a slow burn, slow uh, upward movement, and not a lot of uh, volatility, hopefully, because of all the stocks they have in it. So, again, this is just a really quick course on it, and I hope it helps a little bit of you know people investing. But definitely look up some of the funds I showed you, but then start typing in on Google and things like that. Start typing in, you know, index funds and things like that, best index funds funds for this or best index funds for maybe, you know, low volatility, best index funds for um, going, you know, mimicking the NASDAQ or something, whatever you want. And you'll find a whole bunch that come up, they recommend them, then do your research, see how they've done in the past, all that stuff. Okay, thanks for watching. I only have about 300 something subscribers and I'm trying to get that up. So if you can definitely help me out and subscribe to my channel and maybe give me a thumbs up on the video. I make about, what is it, two to three videos a week. It's a lot of hard work trying to help people out. So if you can help me out, just hit the subscribe button. And anyways, I'll see you in about a week. Take care.